and hello everybody it is dingle here and welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing super super duper well i myself am doing really well because this is our very first dingle shell challenge we are putting out on the channel today guys if you were already watching the live stream on tuesday so yesterday the day before this video comes out you guys got a sneak peek and a one day head start in the challenge so if you guys don't want to miss out on any head starts or any giveaways or anything like that make sure you go follow me on twitch.tv slash mac dingle because one we will be reviewing the shell challenge builds over on there eventually and two you get little exclusive like sneak peeks and things like that so make sure to go over there so you can follow along and join us every single tuesday and thursday around 3 30 est Anyway, guys, I hope you all are having a great day. I already said that. I just really hope you're having a great day. I'm really pumped. So this video, we are first doing the shell. I think you guys already saw that actually. It didn't take us too long to do the shell. I definitely had a lot of questions when it came to the shell itself, but you guys helped me. So thank you guys so much for all you like very experienced shell builders and also shell challenge participants helped me out so much. But also a very special like part of the shell challenge it will be turned into a giveaway towards the end and i will get into the shell like requirements and the challenge requirements in just a moment right now you are seeing how i myself would decorate or would build and do this shell challenge myself but we will get into exactly what you need to know to enter this but the most important or most exciting thing is that anybody who enters this shell challenge will be automatically entered into a giveaway we will be reviewing the shell challenges that are posted to the gallery in august and then anyone who enters will automatically be put into a pool of people who will be like randomly chosen for a giveaway so that'll be really exciting we like to do or like we really like to try to do giveaways every single month and this will be august's giveaway the july giveaway will still be coming up don't you worry so that will probably be announced on this youtube channel so make sure you are subscribed if you are not already but anyway guys let me get into the very specific rules of this shell build i'm sure they're very very similar to all of the other shell builds that you guys may have participated in the past but there will be no changes to the exterior walls moving deleting adding etc all packs are allowed no custom content Basements are allowed. You can change slash add to the roof, paint, windows, doors, ladders, and fencing. And when you are done, make sure you upload to the gallery using the hashtag DingleShell1. Tours will be on August 11th at 3.30 p.m. So just make sure your build is on the gallery at like 3.30 by 3.30 p.m. on August 11th. E-S-T. EST, 3.30 p.m. EST on August 11th. And again, that is www.twitch.tv slash Mac Dingle. I think that's all the information and my origin. You don't have to know my origin, but all the information will be in the description below. So make sure you check that out. That'll all be written there for you. If you have any other questions about the shell build, make sure to leave them in the comments. I know some people who know these rules will either reply back to you or I myself will reply back to you. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. I already kind of sneak peeked some people who have already uploaded using that hashtag and you guys are so creative and you did this so fast. I wanted to give everybody a fair shot at like having a lot of time to do their shell build. Maybe even like wanting to redo their shell build if they have even more inspiration if they wanted to do something quick or if they wanted to take their time on it or if you're you know life is just busy you guys life is just seriously so busy sometimes so it's really great to give you guys enough ample time in order to do something like this but that brings me to how i myself saw the shell and how i myself wanted to build out my shell i decided to build 
build out my shell as a wedding venue. I got inspiration from another shell challenge I saw like going on and theirs was like, like I don't know, the shape of it just reminded me of a really pretty like wedding venue. And then I was like, ooh, I wonder like if I do a shell challenge and I, you know, can visualize it, I would want to make a shell that could be a really dope wedding venue so that I could, you know, build it out into a wedding venue. But also I wanted to make it so it could be a house, a, a community lot, whatever. So I tried to make the shell as versatile as possible. But in the back of my head, I was like, I'm going to make it into a wedding venue. So the inspiration for this wedding venue is actually a place that I found on Pinterest. It's called the barn at Willowin. And it's actually in, I think, Santa Fe. Yeah, Santa Fe, Texas. So I just wanted to make sure I give a huge shout out to them because I'm probably going to use some of their photos within the thumbnail. I'll make sure they're in, in the description. Obviously, those aren't my photos, so I will give them ample credit in the description. But that was the inspiration. I didn't go for like copying that exact barn vibe that like I saw, like the vibe itself, yeah, but I didn't go and try to copy exactly the structure or the interior or anything like that. But I saw this picture on Pinterest and I was like, I would get married there. If I didn't get married at my house and we were still looking to have a wedding, this is so such a vibe that I would love. Just the clean whites with the black accents, with the black window panes, and just those like beautiful, pale, like wooden floors and very simple greenery all around. Oh my gosh. I feel like my style changes like every single six months, like every six months or so, my like style will slightly change. And right now, as you guys know, I am into the clean, I am into the neutral, I am into the natural light. And I know that's pretty trendy right now, so it's probably what you <laughs> like, it's probably what's influencing it quite honestly, but it's just so beautiful. And what I did with this space is, I wanted to leave it as kind of bare as possible. We ended up doing a few decorations because as some of you might know, when you go to a wedding venue, they might have just a few different decorations up and like, or maybe even from someone else that had just gotten married there so that you can kind of visualize where things could go, what could be a possibility of everything. But usually wedding venues such as this have um, just a really great plain slate for you to then come in and decorate as you please or a wedding planner or a coordinator to come in and decorate as they please but I wanted a space obviously we need a full-on kitchen for the caterers and like everyone to make the food we need a reception hall as well as a place for cocktail hour or like an outdoor bar standing area so for this venue specifically we are assuming that we will be able to get married outside like it is an outdoor wedding but I want to also keep in mind if it does rain what would happen so if it does rain in this wedding venue that main space does become the ceremony space which can quickly be cleaned up and the tables can be brought in to make it the dance floor and the eating area and in real life we could definitely squeeze a lot more tables in but as you know the sims has very specific like sizing on everything but you get the idea so if it was raining everything would be inside and the ceremony would just be cleaned up for the purpose of dining and dance floor and then the cocktail hour I was picturing like a, a tent thing like an overhang to go out on the side so you can still even if it's raining go outside it can be totally protected from the rain and people can still go out there to enjoy a cocktail or two have the cocktail hour out there and be protected from the rain so we thought of everything guys like this wedding venue is just so thoughtful <laughs> it's just thinking of all of the different things and I'm really happy with how it turned out but again just because this is a shell challenge and like everyone's minds go to a very different type of thing when it comes to the shell and the landscaping and what they put outside and what walls they put inside like I went full open for the interior because I knew it was kind of like a wedding venue but I can't wait to see what you guys come up with quite honestly seriously so again if you would like to be entered into this shell challenge giveaway all you have to do is participate
participate and you will be put into a pool of people and we will randomly pick a winner by August, I think 11th, like that day when we were doing the tours and stuff, I will pick the winner and we will be in touch and then you can choose any PC pack of your choice. That is it. And again, all of this will be in the description because I'm sure I'm explaining it all over the place, but I'm really pumped you guys. I hope you all really enjoyed this shell challenge and how I took what I would do with this. I can't wait for you guys to take your own spin on it. Again, I'm so, so, so excited. Just upload when you are done. Upload with the hashtag. I had this open. I keep forgetting my own hashtag. Hashtag dingle shell one. Hashtag D-I-N-G-L-E shell one. And I can't wait to see what you all create. And I cannot wait to also tour all of your shells on August 11th at 3.30 p.m. EST at twitch.tv slash Mac Dingle. I'm so, so, so pumped. And I hope you all have a lovely rest of the week and into the weekend. And I will see you on Thursday if you guys want to join the live stream. Bye, everybody. Do, 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 do.